Welcome to the Yacht Systems lesson on extending a pattern. In this lesson, we will cover how to extend a pattern. The demo at the end of this lesson will show you how to implement these concepts in Yacht Systems Service Studio. Silky Y includes a card pattern that can be used to display content with a background color, border, or margins. The goal of this lesson's demo is to create a custom red card pattern by extending the card pattern of the Silky Y framework. The red card will have the same behaviors of the card, but customized with a red background and warning sign on the left-hand side of the card's text. Let's put this into practice using Alt System Service Studio. So this is a custom app and I find that I need to write a custom pattern. So I go and do that. I just go over to main flow and I create a new block that's going to be my new pattern. I'm going to name it red card like we talked about. Now the red card is going to need a red background so I'm going to drag a container and now I'm going to write some CSS to make it a red background. I'm going to write a custom class called red card and now I'm going to write CSS on my block to implement this red background. So I need background color red and make sure I can read text there. I'm going to I'm going to make the text color white. And that's it, I have a red background. Now I'm going to take Silky Wise card, place it inside to help me implement this. And oops, Silky Y seems to be overriding my red background. Now why did this happen? Let's figure it out. I can go over to Mobile Patterns, look for the card, and see how it's implemented. Right click, open the E space, and now it's opening. I say yes, open a clone. And now I have the module open here. And this is the implementation of my card. Now the card block itself doesn't have any CSS. Let's go over to its placeholder. And I do have style classes. And there's a PH class there for something else that we saw earlier. But these are the two that I want. The card and card content. And those classes need to be on my CSS so that it applies to the card itself. So when I have a red card and inside of it I have a card followed by card content, then the background is red and the color is white. There we go. Now my card is red. So I keep implementing it. I'm going to add a container for my icon with just two columns wide. Drag the icon there. Select a warning icon and now add a placeholder next to it, which will automatically be 10 columns wide. I'm going to rename my placeholder content to make it easier to understand when I use this block, when I use this new pattern. And that's it. I'm implemented. Let's test this. I'm going to drag the red card over to my screen and I can write some text there. It works fine. Now, did my CSS override Silky Wise card? Let's try that. No, it's still perfect, it still works as it always has. And that's it. So it would be interesting now if I could have my card here on the left-hand side toolbar. And I can do that just by adding a custom icon to my block, making it actually a custom pattern available on the toolbar. So let's search now for card. And I have my red card right there available to be dragged to any screen. When you're done extending a pattern, there are two things you should consider. Put the pattern in a module with all your custom patterns. Move the CSS from the pattern to the style sheet of your custom theme. This will make the pattern reusable across all your applications.